Hi, it's going on YouTube. It's uh, Goodwin and Taylor coming back to you with another video here. Um, this video is going to cover some tips about dispatcher and dispatch for truckers. Um, first thing foremost, I'm going to say about this. One, not all dispatchers are bad in the trucking industry. They've got bosses just the same as we do, and they have to do their job the same as we do. So, that being said, not every dispatcher is bad. But, that doesn't mean they won't try to get you to do something you don't want to do. For example, how many times have you heard a dispatcher say, well, the customer will unload you the second you get there? Forget about that. Or, we'll get you there for your home time ASAP. You don't need to worry about it. Yeah, after they screw you over with another load. Or, the next common one they like to do, put you under a load when you don't have the hours of service, and they say, well, you still have time to go to the shipper and get the load. But, what's the problem after you get the load? You gotta do a 34 restart. Or a 10-hour break. Or try to find a truck stop. And if you're in certain parts that doesn't have truck stops. Like California. Good luck trying to find a truck stop. You're going to be sitting on the side of the road somewhere. Another thing that dispatchers love to do to you. They love to push you to get the load there as soon as possible. But therein lies a problem. What? <laughs> Traffic, oh weather conditions, and not to mention sometimes they don't take into consideration your 30 minute and your 10 hour restart and your 34 restart and DOT laws and DOT regulations, or they don't count on you actually getting pulled over. That and they don't take into consideration of how long it actually takes to get from point A to point B. That too. With that being said, Another thing that the dispatchers will tell you, well, it shouldn't take you that long to get there. It'll only take about a day or two. In actuality, it's going to take you maybe three days, depending on where you're coming from and what route you're taking. So the moral of this is be careful what, of what dispatchers try to get you to do. Now, your job as a driver and any driver that drives a semi and has a CDL, you can legally refuse to do a load if you do not have the hours of service or you do not deem outside conditions safe to drive. That's one freedom that you get. Other than that, dispatchers are going to try to get you to take any load you want to. Because they own your ass and they sign your paychecks. Unless you're under operators. Then you can reject all the load you want, but I wouldn't get into that because then they'll stop sending you loads. Unless you know some pretty good brokers or some pretty good companies that's going to give you some loads. So, those were some tips on what dispatchers try to get you to do. Play it smart and just remember, they're only out in this business to make money the same as we are. So, be ready for them to do something they're going to want you to do that you don't want to. Be ready for it. Sign off.